Greetings and salutations, all you beautiful people of this beautiful planet. Eric and Mark here with you guys for another repi of League Unlock. And today we're pouring one out. We're shouting out the boomers on today's epi, looking at the oldest players from all four major regions. And obviously, none of them are actually boomers. <laughs> This show is dedicated to your elders, paying some respect to the old guard of League of Legends. Remember the years when we used to say, oh, guys, you know, 23, 25 years old, get him out of here. It's over. It's done. He can't keep up with the young kids anymore. That ain't the case. We talking to the old boomers. We're making sure that we're paying them the respects. These guys have survived the tides of time, the ebbs and flows of the different meta of League of Legends and just life in general. We'll start in the LCS because this is where the boomeriest of those boomers are hanging out. And you might uh, notice a trend here. The three guys we're highlighting all former or current Team Liquid members, they all played together at the same time. If Doublelift was playing in 2024, he'd be at the top of the list at 30 years young. But for now, we got Captain America himself, Core JJ, coming in 29, Mr. Veteran in the LCS. What a career we have seen from Mr. LCS, the branded Captain America trying to get the LCS even higher tiered in the international community. For JJ. You go back all the way. He's been LCS to the core for quite a bit, bringing him over in the Dignitas days, getting a world championship with Samsung Galaxy, and then bringing it all back with Team Liquid and the run that he has been in the LCS since. What a player. And, you know, all three of these guys, Jensen and Impact. Uh, Jensen, by the way, how about having a January 1st birthday? This That is... That is wild. First day of the year, and this guy's turning in uh, to 29. But both of these guys have been incredibly consistent. Throw Core JJ in there as well, even when Jensen was on Dignitas. All these different teams that Jensen and Impact have played on, they're always towards the upper half to top three of players in the LCS for their position. Well, first off, shout out to Jensen's parents, specifically his mom, because I'm telling you, having a kid on January 1st, I got a cousin that's born January 1st. That ain't a fun experience for everybody going through that one on that day. But looking at that, you're right. The experience, the, the longevity built here, and especially you can even dial that clock back to that specific time frame of having these three old guys on Team Liquid. You had a dominant force when they were all together. And again, double lifts would also be on that lineup. But then you got the full boomer squad for Team Liquid, who obviously ended up winning uh, pretty much four splits in a row. So I guess it pays to be the old guys around the block. And even though maybe Core JJ, Jensen, maybe even Impact, maybe they've slowed down a little bit, these guys, age is just a number because they're still on contending teams in the LCS for 2024. Same could be said. For a couple of the boomers over in the LEC, you got a pair of guys, 28 going on to 29, two of the biggest icons in the game, Hillisong and Yankos. Hillisong's a couple months older than Yankos, but both of them coming in at 28. And we're always talking about Grandpa Yankos, but I don't think people really talk about Hilly as being that old. Uh, it has to be something with just how wacky, how crazy, how chaotic gameplay can be with Hillisang that you do kind of forget about that age. You forget about all the years. They all kind of pile together with someone like Hillisang compared to looking at, oh, Grandpa Yankos, always in that spotlight, always at these international events, getting that extra dosage of him across the board internationally. These two pillars, icons in their respective roles in the European region. Really happy we get to give a little shout out to them and pay some attention to our old boys in the LBC. And the combo of them both having been around for so long and just the play style that they both have, you know they're probably ending their careers with the two highest death totals in the history of the LEC. That's just one of those stats that can build up, can creep up. You can look through it and absolutely find yourself the graveyard, find those bad careers, the careers that ended. But you get into those really high numbers, that's actually respect. That is time put in and maintained at this type of level when you're looking at them. It's gonna be some mistakes, you deal with it. But a long career, like a player like Hillisang, Yankos, 
you take the good with the bad, and you've gotten way more good from both of these players over the course of their careers. And again, approaching a decade now for both of them in terms of pro play. And I know Hilly had some rough moments to close out 2023, but early on in the year and for most of the year for Yankos, these guys were premier players in their position still. They're still game changers is the biggest thing I look at with both of these players. I think you can talk about uh, consistency and overall play are sure are little things that you can evaluate and you can evaluate over the course of the career. You can evaluate over a couple years type of thing and you can find your little stats, but you see how they perform and how they're able to step it up and change a game. That's a different thing for me. And I've seen that from both of these guys within that past year, as you mentioned, Got to give a little bit of preference towards Yankos because I think he was still a little bit stronger and heading into this year, reunited with some of the G2 boys. It's going to be a good old party for the old man. Yeah, and you can call that the full nostalgia run back, this Team Heretics roster. LCK and LPL side of things, I don't know if it's just a combination of there's more talent to choose from, the level of play is a bit higher because the average age definitely looking a bit lower in Korea and China and the LCK. It's two guys you might have heard of, but unfortunately, it's Deft coming second to Faker again as both of them obviously went to the same high school, same age at 27. Everybody knew Faker is the oldest player in the LCK and Deft right there behind him. Oh my God, I refuse to believe that you're actually watching this, that you're watching us either on TV, on YouTube, whatever, and you don't know Faker and Deft in the LCK. Absolutely two of the most iconic, if not the most iconic players throughout League of Legends. You laid out the whole story that we've been going through, especially fresh in the minds of everybody from the 2022 World Championship, the high school buddies, Mr. Faker, Mr. Deft, rolling on through all the way through history of the LCK, the multiple titles, the championships, everything that have brought forth with these two absolute mega stars of League of Legends. And again, we're joking. Obviously also, uh, you know, South Korea kind of keeps track of age a little differently with that extra year. But for what these guys have resume wise at 27 years old is absolutely ludicrous. And we've been joking the whole time, but I got to preface. 27 ain't old, guys. Let's just get that up there. This is in an <laughs> esports world. Right, exactly. Again, remember, we are trying to shatter the image that 22, 25 was too old to be playing at the top level. Look no further than players like Faker and Deft locking it up in the, the championships of the past two years. Specifically, I'm going to give that shout out to a player like Faker course the unkillable demon king the whole journey that we have seen never have we been reminded how important how dominant he can be as an individual player and as a teammate for a squad like t1 we have seen this year and achieving the ultimate goal of that fourth world championship and now faker one of many guys who are legitimately entering their second decade of professional play and i, I don't care what you want to tell me you you trying to say that Faker's reaction time or mechanics have dipped after playing for so long at the ripe old age of 27? No, nah, that's the answer. No, nah. but, but of course, we don't want to say that, you know, age is something that makes you invulnerable, invincible at these times. You got to be looking at Faker this year, having to take time off away for an injury that a couple of us old boys might be very unfortunately familiar with, with some carpal tunnel. So gotta be careful, gotta make sure that we're looking now at how you're managing a player evolving and moving through into these next couple of years. I think you're gonna be heading into ice baths after every yes. day of matches in the LCK for 2024 to make sure they're keeping him in tip top shape. Lastly, the LPL is I mean, the most surprising one, I think you see all the LCS, LEC, LCK you go, yeah, yeah, those guys kind of expected, but get to the LPL and there's not many guys north of 25 even. The only two we're really talking about is number one, Lou Mao's the oldest, but he's a sub on BLG. He probably won't even be playing any games. He's just around. So then you're giving the nod to Rookie at the ripe old age of 26. There's something beautifully ironic about it. The dude being named Rookie, being the oldest player in the league. <laughs> Gotta love that, seeing that in the LPL. I think it is 
as you mentioned earlier about the LCK, that there is quite a lot of, of young talent that does come into the league and is constantly pushing up against the established order to try and say, hey, I want my spot in the sunlight. I want my ticket to the big meal in the LPL. You see that coming through here with players like Ricky and Liv Mouse staying through and but that consistency, that class that we have seen from both of these guys sticking it through, sticking through the chaos that is the LPL and the ever evolving landscape scene. New teams here or there, to, you know, super team rising over here, all these type of things. You have always seen them stay in contention, stay in that spotlight in the LPL. And listen, even a guy like Uzi, who I know came back on ADG, but he's been retired for a couple of years. He's 26. He's 26 and he's already been retired. That's the thing, you know, we're talking about these LPL players. That's kind of one of the first things that comes to mind is thinking about a player like Uzi. And then you remind yourself of kind of the, the gaps in the careers and everything else. And then you flash back and you go, wait, but he was younger than Faker and all these big events and everything else. There's that, you know, you, you can look back at it. And I know he's been, he's still involved in the scene, obviously quite removed from his playing days, but Clear Love, another player that we have seen stay in the scene and stay involved for quite a long time. Us old guys, it's hard to knock us out of here. And even guys like Mako, guys like Zhao Hu, you felt like have been around forever. 25, they're both 25. It's like, there's still so much career left for these guys. They just start so young and they and they find a way to stay on through again that performance that way to stay through both of these players you know players you mentioned like shahu important to remember as you look through with everybody else the evolution of the game of league of legends has gone so dramatically so and so drastically quickly in the last couple of years approaching another one this year with the major changes that we have had in the off season it's going to be a brand new game and to see that all these guys still able to stay on top still able to make a name and remind you that you got to remember the name of these old guys. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to be doing another one of these videos in 10 years when Faker's coming up to 40 and everybody's in their 30s. And that's the new 20s when it comes to esports. But be looking out for all these guys to make impact on their squads in 2024. But that is it today for League Unlocked. My name is Eric here with Mark. Thank you, you beauties, for watching. And we will catch you on that flippity flip.